Hi, my name is Rebecca and I'm with the Assistive Technology Center at Little Tennessee Valley Educational Cooperative and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your iPad so that you can find, convert, and read Tar Heel Reader books in Assistive Wear's Pictello app. Once you do this, you'll, your stories will be easy to find, organized, you can customize them, and they'll be switch accessible. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through how that process works. Then after that, I'm going to go back and show you how to set up your iPad to make it as convenient as possible for you to go through this process. So the first part is find. So we need to open up the Tar Heel Reader bookmark. For this example, I'm going to search for the core word turn. I can look through what pops up, find a book that I think will work, and then I go up into the upper right hand corner and hit the share icon. Then just click copy. Once you have your link copied, open up Assistive Wear's converter website. Scroll down and in number three it'll say paste the title page address below that's where you want to paste that link. Once you have the link pasted in, you don't have to put an email address, just hit Pictello it. It'll take a little bit of time for the conversion process to happen depending on the size of the book. Once Assistiveware has completed the conversion process, you'll be prompted with an eight digit code. Next, open up the Pictello app. Go to the library where you would like to save the book. Then click the little cloud icon at the bottom of the screen. Once there, enter your eight digit code and click download. It only takes a second and now you have your story. Things bag turn. A wheel turns. A merry-go-round turns. Now, just like any other Pictello story, you can customize this. You can change the pictures, you can change the words. You can also make it switch accessible. In order to do that, hit the settings button in the bottom right-hand corner that looks like a cog. Scroll down until you see configure switches and click that. You have an option between none, one, and two switches. If you want one switch, the switch will turn the page and begin reading automatically once the page is turned. If you choose two switches, one switch will turn the page and the other will read the content. If you click on the switch, you can choose what keystroke you want to control it. I like to use the AbleNet Blue 2 switch and based on that, mode one uses a space and enter, and that's why I've selected those keystrokes. Finally, how can you set your iPad up so that this is a convenient process for finding, converting, and loading Tar Heel Reader stories into Pictello? The first thing you need to do is open the Safari browser, and it has to be the Safari browser. And then you need to go to tarheelreader.org backslash find. I'm going to put the link and a QR code on this video to make it convenient for you. Once you're there, click the share icon in the upper right hand corner and then scroll down until you see add to home screen. Click that and then hit add. The next thing you need to do is open the Safari browser up again and then you need to go to assistiveware.com backslash Tar Heel Reader Pictello Converter with dashes in between each word. And again, I'll have the link and a QR code uh, on this video. Once you're there, hit the share icon again, scroll down until you see add to home screen, click, and then hit add. Then all you need to do is group those two bookmarks with your Pictello app. So this way, anytime you need to do this process, all the links that you need are together.